Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler from Melda Production, and today I want to go over the wah and volume pedal in M Guitar Architect. It's not released yet, but I thought maybe some people would want to know about this. I think I've shown some of the other effects, and you're like, okay, it has almost everything, but where's the wah and the volume pedal? So we have that now, and I'm going to show you how to hook it up and use it. As you see here, I have a basic setup. I have an amp here. I'm using the Seattle amp. I'm using on the Crunch channel. I'm using the cabinet here. I'm using Iridium. I really like this one. It sounds good. Kind of a classic rock tone. And then we have just a little bit of spring reverb here. So I'll let you hear what this sounds like. So a really basic tone. But like I said, we're not really going over the tone here. I'm going to show you how to hook up the wah pedal and the volume pedal, which sometimes is a little bit uh, unintuitive. So unlike your actual well, wah pedal with hardware, we're going to need to use some MIDI for this to actually change it. Let's first put it on here though. So if you look in here, just click here and we look around in the bottom of stomps and effects, you see we have wah and volume. You can also right click and go in there. Another way you can do that is just use the stomp box module here and then go and you should see it, it effects at the bottom, but we already have it in here. You can put it before or after the amp. In this case, let's put it before the amp, just like you would with a real wah pedal. Now that we have this, what we're gonna use is this red knob here, and this is gonna be our control of the pedal. So if I turn this on, I'm gonna play a chord, and then with my mouse, I'm just gonna move this like this. So, seems cool. The problem you're wondering is like, hey, when I'm playing my guitar, I can't, you know, control my mouse like this. So how do I control this with my foot? First thing you're going to need is you're going to need a MIDI controller with an expression pedal or some kind of pedal that can do that. Or I guess you could do it with, you know, something else. I'm not sure what other types of controllers, but with MIDI, there's lots of things you can do. I have a, was it FCB1010? It's a little bit hard to set up by itself, but once you have it set up, it works well. I'm going to be using that to control this. To do this, we're gonna need a separate track to control the MIDI. So I'm just gonna insert another track here. I'm going to go to the input and make sure I'm getting my MIDI input correct. Let's arm it. And when I push something on my MIDI controller, it should show me an indication that it's working here. You see the little white? That means, okay, we're getting MIDI information. What we have to do is we need to send the MIDI from this blue track into M Guitar Architect. How we do that will depend on your DAW. So some DAWs you might have to do some different routing. So check the manual and the other information in your DAW to find out how to do it. In mine, in Reaper here, you can just drag and drop it over. It'll send the audio too, but there's no audio coming through here. So don't worry about that. You can just leave it as it is. So now the audio should be sent from blue to this green channel here. I'm gonna put them both on. And if I press my MIDI uh, controller, it sh you should see something here and here, an indication that it's working. So they're both going through there, everything is good. What we're gonna do now is we're going to actually hook up our MIDI. There's two ways to do this. One, we can control this directly, or two, we can do it through a multi-parameter. I'll show you how to do it directly first, it's fairly easy. We're just gonna click MIDI here. We have everything set up. I'm going to, I'll use the first one here, click learn, and then I'm just gonna move this. Learn. Now you see this changed. That's good, but I also need to hook this up to my controller like this. So click learn again, move. I think it already was a global volume. So now when I'm clicking my controller, not clicking, it's stepping on it. It should be controlling that. And if I have everything set up here, close this for now, move this and let's see if it's working. Sorry about that, I'm using my left foot. It's hard for me to play and actually talk into here. Unfortunately, my microphone setup is a little bit weird, so it's hard for me to do both, but hopefully you get the idea. Also, as you see here, there's also volume. So if I click the volume, I can use that as well.
You can also use both if that's what you want. And you might be wondering, okay, what's with these other controls and things like that? The resonance will control how much bite there is. So if you imagine a low pass filter, the resonance and that peak is going to increase with the resonance. So if I turn it down like this, sounds like that, but let's turn it up here. Make sure my limiter is on because that can get peaky. So that's what the resonance does. The output is obvious. It just makes it louder and puts more volume going into your amp or cabinet, etc. And the drive. So if you want to drive it a little bit more, you can use this as well. So let's just turn all the way up and I'll play something and hopefully you can hear the difference in drive. So this is with it all the way down. So you can see it's just adding a little bit of boost. And why you might want that is if, let's say you're doing a solo and you want to use the wall for the solo, I might want to make it, you know, a little bit more driven and a little bit louder going into my amp. Just so you can get that extra boost when you're playing lead. And then when I'm done with my solo, just turn the whole thing off and go back to the normal amp sound. So that's the idea behind that. Now, I showed you how to hook this up using this MIDI control, but let's get rid of that. And I'm going to show you how to use do it using a multi-parameter. The reason you might want to do that is because instead of just controlling this knob, you might want to control some other effects with it at the same time. So let's say if I wanted to control, I don't know, maybe a little bit of chorus at the top, or let's say it's just here, but I want to control the resonance and this at the same time, I can do it here. So let's go into learn, move this, move the resonance here like that. So I can control that. Now both of these are being controlled there. I have the positions here. I have the resonance here. So it's gonna move in the same way. If I wanted to invert it, I could do that too. Here, let's just call this wah. You can name it whatever you want. And now we're gonna hook this up to MIDI. So I can go into here, click MIDI learn, and I'll do the same thing. Except this way, it's already set up for the correct multi-parameter. So all I'm going to do is just step on my MIDI controller. Turn learn off. And as you can see, by stepping on my MIDI controller, I'm controlling this main wah parameter and the resonance. Another thing I should mention is inside here in the MIDI, it's already hooked up. We have the minimum value and the maximum value. So if I find that going all the way to the bottom here, like ah, I don't want it to go to zero like that when I step on it, I can control this value like this. So maybe it only goes down to like 16%. Bottom now is 16. If I don't want it going all the way to the top, I can change this max value to let's say like 82. So now no matter how I step on my expression pedal, it doesn't go all the way through the whole range. <laughs> By using this, you can combine this in lots of different ways and do lots of interesting and unique things. And as I said, you can hook more things up to this. Maybe I could uh, control the chorus speed at the same time, or maybe the rotation speed of a rotary speaker, etc. There's lots of things you can do. So, you know, experiment with that yourself. By using these multi-parameters, in addition with these effects, there's all sorts of interesting and dynamic things you can come up with. But that's it for now. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those below. Give me a like and a thumbs up and uh, check out all the other plugins at meldaproduction.com. Till next time, see you.